Once upon a time there was a group of Muslims who taught their children at the Solihull Sunday School. Because they loved Islam so much, the parents, teachers and children put a 10 point plan together to make it not just any school, but to make it a super duper school. Always make sure to get a good night's sleep on Saturday night to make sure you avoid the morning rush. Hello? Hello? Is that Mr. Parent? Mr. Parent? This is Mr. Parent speaking. Can I ask, why is your child not at the Sunday school? Um, um, we're on holiday at Bournemouth. Hello, is that Mr. Teacher? This is Mr. Parent here. My son can't make it to school today, he's poorly. I will be sending a letter with him next week. If your child has been off sick, make sure to confirm it through a letter. And if they're going to be away in the future, let us know beforehand. Drive and park your car safely. Upon the air or in the sea There does not sing with wonder Praising in community La ilaha illallah Buy your children the most up-to-date material It doesn't have to be anything fancy All really basic stuff Just make sure they have the right books for the right classes Always check through your child's homework diary before signing it. Would you sign something without reading it first? Make sure to read through their diary then check that they've done the homework then when you're happy sign their diary three hours a week isn't really enough to learn everything about Islam always try to supplement the school's teaching through your own teaching at home and who knows you might even learn a few things yourself you don't, don't know that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th 13 after Hijra, yeah. We all know that one. 13 after Hijra. Everybody knows when Hazrat Abu Bakr died. 13 after Hijra. I knew that. Just like you have your own personal bills, the Sunday school also has bills to pay. So why not set up a standing order? Because if the school can't pay its bills, who knows what could happen? Do you know who your child's teacher is? If you don't, you could be walking right past them every single week. So always try to keep in contact, either in person, on the phone, 
or even through the internet to ensure good communication. We all want our children to be good Muslims, to be proud to wear their Islamic dress, and to enjoy learning and developing at the school. So encourage them to be good Muslims, not just by turning them off, but by giving them gifts when they do well, through sports activities, and by helping them socialize together to make Islam fun. And finally, get involved where you can, by becoming a helper or a school governor, by getting involved in activities and staying fit and healthy, by supporting our activities wherever you can. So help us follow this 10-point plan together, and with Allah's help, we can make this not just any school, but a super-duper school. <laughs>